What's up guys, it is Dominic, and in this video we're going to be covering snapshots inside of Go High Level. I've never actually covered one-on-one -on -one snapshots inside of Go High Level before, so I think this video is long overdue. Snapshots are honestly very undervalued in Go High Level, and if you don't know what Go High Level is, if you're new to the channel, then of course I'm Dominic Baptist. I talk about all things Go High Level. I make sure that everyone listening and everyone on here can build the best software agency of all time. I have a free course in the description below and I will cover that at the end of the video, how you can get 30 days for free with my affiliate link on Go High Level and get two, yes, two free courses as well. But for now, let's get into the video. We are going to be discussing snapshots. So first, let me break down exactly what snapshots are. So snapshots are basically whenever you create something inside of Go High Level or maybe someone else has created something inside of Go High Level that you really like, they can actually copy it turn it into a link and send it your way, or you can copy it, turn it into a link and send it their way or send it to all of your clients. There's so many different things that you can do with snapshots. It's just whenever you create something really good, like a landing page and automation or something that you wanna share with others or share with clients, it's really nice that you can create a snapshot so that they can easily click the link, import it, and they're good to go. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're gonna head over to the settings tab under the agency view. You cannot do this under the account view. You have to be under the agency view in order to create a snapshot. You're gonna go over to settings at the bottom left and you will see all of these different sections that you can go to. It's right under billing. You should see snapshots. So you're gonna click on snapshot and if you don't have any snapshots, if you've never created one, this will most likely be blank. But as you can see, I've created a lot of snapshots in my day, mostly for my affiliates, but for clients as well. I have a real estate snapshot down here. I have a restaurant snapshot. I have different snapshots that I've made over time, and I even have more under the imported snapshot section and the default. So the import is gonna be snapshots that people have most likely sent you and that you've imported yourself. So that's gonna be under imported. Default snapshots are exactly what they say, they're default. So it means it's gonna be something inside of Go High Level. Go High Level has snapshots that you can use and I'm gonna show you guys those in a second. So if you import any of those, they're most likely gonna fall under the default snapshot section. But first I wanna break down exactly how to create a snapshot. So as you can see over in the far right hand corner, you can see create new snapshot. So let's say for this instance, you have something really, really good. You have, let's say a real estate client and you did really well with them. You have an amazing follow-up system. You have maybe a calendar widget. You have everything set up for them and it's perfect. And you're like, I don't wanna have to do this again. Why would I wanna recreate this again? It's gonna take me all day. I'm gonna have to type in everything twice. Well, you don't have to. You can easily go to create new snapshot. You can name it real estate snapshot because it's gonna go to all of your other real estate clients or maybe you're gonna sell the snapshot to people who are in real estate. There's so many different things you can do. We're gonna cover that in this video as well, but you're gonna name it properly. So let's say real estate snapshot and then you're going to select the account to copy. So there you go. I got real estate snapshot and I clicked real estate agent. So let's say for this instance, I have a real estate agent. Their name is, you know, John. And so it's John, the real estate agent is the account. And I click on that account. So what this is going to do, and this can confuse a lot of people. So that's why I'm making this video so that you can see exactly step-by-step step how I do this properly is it is going to take absolutely everything inside of this account, at least the functions that you created for it. And it's going to copy it and turn it into a snapshot. That means if you have any tags, any custom fields, any courses, anything inside of that account, except for the personal information, of course, it's not going to take like personal information from that real estate agent. It's not going to take his name, his number and email. It's not going to take his conversations. It's not going to take his contact list. It's just going to take the actual functions of the things that you built inside that for him. And it's going to copy everything across the board and then you can share it with others. But here's the problem that most people have is they go, well, I like that, but I don't want to add everything. There's a couple of things inside of this account that I don't want to share with other people. You know, there's some things that are very specific to, let's say his name is John, the real estate agent, and I don't want Karen, the real estate agent, to have this, but I want her to have this, this, and this. So how do I do that? So now I'm gonna show you how to create your perfect snapshot from scratch, how to create something that's really white labeled in a sense so that you can create perfect snapshots without having to take it from another previous account. So we're still gonna save this one and then we're gonna head back out and then we're gonna head over to the accounts section under the agency view and we're going to create an account. So this account is specifically for the snapshot only, which yes, sounds weird. You're making an entire account for just one snapshot. Yes, you have to do this if you want a very specific snapshot that you want to be able to copy and paste and give to as many people as you want. So we're going to make a snapshot. As you can see here, I've done this before. I have a snapshot for non-affiliates. I have a real estate agent and a real estate agent snapshot right here that I copied, clearly copied my real estate agent account 
and then made a snapshot account for it. So I know that sounds a little weird. Why does he have two? But you're about to find out exactly why I do this. So now we're gonna go over to add account. And once you are on this page right here, you are going to go over from SaaS to regular account if you haven't done that already and make sure that you do a blank snapshot. The reason we're doing this, instead of going over here to own snapshots and putting it in, is because it will automatically put everything in. And remember we just said previously, what if we don't want everything? What if we want only one or two things in the snapshot? So we don't want everything, therefore we're going to just do the regular. So we're gonna click blank snapshot and continue. We're gonna add account manually, of course. You're gonna fill out all of this information. It really doesn't matter at all. Do not overthink this. You're just creating a generalized account that says, you know, real estate snapshot or whatever the snapshot name that you're trying to create. That's all you're doing. You're making a blank account with nothing in it. And after you've done this, you will see it right here. Let's say I created the real estate snapshot. It's right there, it's done, it's ready to go. But there's nothing inside of it yet. So now we're gonna go over to view details. We're gonna head over to the actions tab and we're gonna load that snapshot in. Now watch what happens now. Since we did blank snapshot, instead of importing it immediately, watch what happens now when we import. So we're gonna go over to load snapshot. We're gonna click on the one that we want. And this is for the workflows only. We're only doing the workflows, only the automation. So we're gonna do the real estate workflows. We're gonna proceed. And this is a great example, because as you can see, there's so many different things inside of this automation. This is crazy. Why is this so big? Like this is the entire account. Like I said before, what if there's a bunch of stuff in here we don't want this new client to have? Because they're gonna get really confused. Like we have four calendars, 13 campaigns, 23 custom fields, all of these different things that we do not want in there. So we're gonna skip absolutely everything except for the few things that we want, which is basically just gonna be the workflow sections. So we're gonna head all the way down here and we're gonna go to workflows and we are gonna click on the workflows that we want. So let's do the bi-monthly newsletter drip. Let's do a buyer list follow-up campaign, buyer list notification, and let's do the seller lead follow-up campaign. And then let's go to proceed. We're going to skip this. You can overwrite it. It doesn't really matter. It just means if there's already other ones like it, will you want to overwrite those or just skip it and add more? So let's proceed, press okay. And there you go, it is now in the new real estate snapshot account, which means if we create another snapshot out of this new account, it's going to only be those things that we wanted only be those four workflows that we just picked out. So I really hope that's not too confusing to you guys. I understand that it seems like a lot of extra steps to just make one snapshot, but I promise it's totally worth it, especially when you're building courses and you're doing so many different things for snapshots because you want those snapshots to be perfect. You want them to have everything exactly done in the best way, shape and form possible. You don't wanna have like 19 extra things that people are like, what is this? Why is this in here? And you're like, oh, sorry, I just, this, this wasn't supposed to be in there. I just don't know how to delete it. You don't want all this stuff. You want it to be perfect. You, if you want four workflows, make sure it's four workflows. And what I just showed you right there is the easiest way to do it. Obviously, I skipped one step at the end, but we already covered it, how to turn your new real estate snapshot into a snapshot. We kind of just covered that already in the beginning, but I'll show you guys how to do it again. So of course, now we're back in the snapshots. You can see my snapshot section here. We're gonna go to create new snapshot. And this time when we select an account, we're gonna click that new account that we just created that now has the four new workflows in it, which means the brand new snapshot will only have those four workflows that we wanted or the templates or whatever it is that you're trying to create. It will only have those. And that is how you make a perfect snapshot to a T instead of have to recreate everything, make a new account and go build another funnel and do all these things. It, you know, you can skip all of that by just taking something that's already done, putting it into a brand new account and then editing out the things that you don't want, fine tuning it and then turning it into your own personal snapshot. I really hope that this made sense. And once you've created the snapshot, then you can head over here on the right side and this is where you can share, save, do all these extra things, change, edit. So if we go over to restaurant snapshot at the bottom here, we have a share button, we have a refresh button, we have a push update to linked accounts, we have an edit snapshot and we have a delete snapshot. So let's go to the share. This is what you're gonna be using the most. And there's three different types here. We have a get a share link, an email share link, and a get a permanent link. I usually use the permanent link. I would press this right here. You're gonna see a link pop up and you're going to copy and paste it wherever you want. This means for anyone who has Go High Level, they will be able to take that link, import it, and they will now own whatever it is that you just did for them. They will now have that inside of their accounts. But that's only one aspect of snapshots and why they're so valuable. What if you want to use the snapshots for clients, not just other people who have Go High Level, but for your clients? Well, you can still do that exact same thing and send them the link, no problem. 
follow. But you can also have it automatically done inside of their accounts. So if we exit out of here, and let's say, even though I tell you guys do not go after niches, it can be a very lucrative business style if you do go after one niche and you're really good at it and you've had a ton of experience in whatever industry that you're running this for, let's say it's financial advising, you want a beautiful snapshot for financial advising, you know the industry so well, you know thousands of people in it, then why not You know, go sell a financial advising software for 100 bucks a month? Why not do that? And that's where snapshots come in handy so much is if you have something that works, you can easily just duplicate it, create it as many times as you want, and it's gonna save you so much time and you can actually scale your business, which is what SaaS is. Both S's in SaaS should stand for scalable because it really is just such a scalable business model. So let me show you guys exactly how I would do this if I were going to go after one niche, one targeted niche like that. I would head over to the SaaS configurator, and yes, this is for SaaS mode only. There is a way to do this without owning SaaS, but it's way more hands-on, and of course, we like to scale, so we don't wanna be extremely hands-on, so we use SaaS. And as you can see, we have our three different plans here. We have our 97, 297, 497. You can change this to whatever you want, but let's say we are targeting, like I said, financial advisors. We have a beautiful snapshot already done. We want every single person that signs up under my SaaS, I want them all to automatically have that snapshot. So I'm gonna scroll down here, all the way to the bottom here, and you can see select snapshot. So we're gonna click on that, and then we can click on the real estate one, whichever one we're doing. If we're doing financial advising, like I said, we would click on that. And then if you follow my free course, which is gonna get you completely set up on go high level, you already know how to set up everything in the back end to make sure that your SaaS is all automatic and already running. I give you all the snapshots for that anyway, but whenever someone goes on your landing page, they order from you from the landing page, they're not only gonna get their entire account done for them, they're gonna get the snapshot uploaded automatically, and then the best way to really scale is to have a nice video like this explaining how to use it. If you can get them onboarded and using it correctly, it's game over. You're gonna build such a scalable business with that monthly recurring revenue because they're onboarded and they're sticking that every single month after the initial month is just gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger. More profit every single time and you can really scale. So that is why snapshots are so vital. Everybody should be using them and not that many people know how to use them or know how to utilize them correctly. So that is how I would set it up that way if you wanted to do it all automatically. If you didn't wanna do it automatically and you wanna do it manually, then of course you just take the link and you send it to each person that signs up and you say, hey, can you just import this real quick and you'll get the whole thing. I still think that you should make videos have at least some type of video that says, hey, this is how you use the snapshot correctly. If they just get a snapshot and they have no idea how to use workflows, how to use it correctly, how to set it up, what are they gonna do? Imagine when you started, when you started Go High Level, if I didn't have videos that showed you exactly how to set everything up, where would you be today? Probably not using it. <laughs> so it's very important to onboard correctly and make sure they understand the snapshot. Make sure you understand the snapshot so that you can teach it to them. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is a video just like this. Very easy to do. I did this in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna edit it in about maybe an hour, and it's good to go. I can use this forever. So that is snapshots in a nutshell. I really hope that you guys found some value in this video. It's just something that I feel like is not utilized enough. I think snapshots should be utilized almost every time you have a new client. They do not want blank accounts. Blank accounts are very difficult to go off of. They want some type of follow-up system, You know, whether it's construction, real estate, financial advising, Having something in there that's done for them already is just gonna help you guys so much more. That's why I see it all the time. Hey, do you have a snapshot for this? Do you have a snapshot for that? And um, sometimes it kind of makes me upset because I'm like, no, I don't because a lot of times these snapshots are actually the exact same. I mean, it's just kind of a simple follow-up with this simple funnel page that maybe just have one or two things tweaked. It's really not that much. So I don't really go super in depth into snapshots, but now I've been seeing so many people kind of scale and go in these other directions and it's really cool. I've been seeing the groups grow so much. And like I said, I've seen some for financial advising, some for network marketing, of course, some for real estate agents. There's so many different ones that they're like really fine tuning the niche and doing it in a way that is really smart. So I was like, I might as well make a video on this and show you guys how to do this. So that if you have something that you really wanna do, like a power washing snapshot or something that you just don't see too often, then go do it. And you can even sell that to other go high level people. Like, I don't know where I'd be right now if I didn't have my snapshots for you know my onboarding courses and, and all my workflows and my websites. It's like, I would not be an affiliate leader. I definitely wouldn't be one. And it is the exact same business model as running an agency. So if you guys do exactly what I do and exactly what I say, you should totally be fine. So once again, hopefully that made sense to you guys. I really hope you guys go out and get your own snapshots, start building them, start selling them, start utilizing them correctly. And if you stuck with me to the end of this video, then of course, in the link in the description below, you will see my free course, my free sign up course on how to get 
absolutely everything up and running. You get your own website, you get all your workflows done. My affiliate link is in there. If you guys use my affiliate link and start, you get 30 days for free. Not only that, you get so much more access, all of my Facebook group access, my white labeled onboarding course, which means if you haven't seen my YouTube videos on it already, there's an onboarding tab right here that I create and show you how to create. And you can literally click on it, click on the onboarding library, and boom, a complete white labeled onboarding course that shows your clients, not just you, your clients, because it's white label, which means you own it, shows them how to literally do everything. For people who aren't super tech savvy, who don't wanna make videos, I love making videos, so this is something that I just do, and I felt like it was a great way to be an affiliate leader is by giving you guys all of my hard work so that you can just use it and save tons of time. So you can send this to all of your clients, you can have it automatically uploaded inside of Go High Level like I did here, I teach you how to do that as well, where they can see how to set up the Launchpad and phone. They can see how to do integrations, contacts and messages, website builder, automated forms, all this stuff, I go super in depth, it's all white labeled, my face is not in it, it's just my voice, and I even took off all my logos. Absolutely fantastic, I really hope you guys like that. So click the link in the description, sign up under me, I promise you will not regret it, and I can't wait to see you guys on the other side. Thank you and peace out.